Ooh, hello. It seems you found my channel. I'm Proxy. Hello. This is my first video. I'm quite poor, so I'm just putting some paper on the table. I'm going to have a look at what I've got today. Mm. Oh, it seems Proxy has bought himself something. Now, let's have a look what's inside. Ooh, very interesting. It's the first time Proxy has ever got himself something from Warhammer 40k. It seems to come with 12 miniatures. It's from the Space Marines. Lovely fellas. And he's going to start collecting. Ooh, isn't that exciting? Lovely little box on the side. Shows you everything that's inside. Ooh, lovely. On the other side, some more lovely pictures. Shall we have a look at the back? Here we go. Wow. Let's give it a go. First time opening it. I think it might be upside down. Let's flip it over. And it's got all these bits and bobs in there. A box of bases where the uh, the models and the miniatures stand off. Hmm, it's got another one, a bit more detailed, slightly bigger, still fits in the palm of your hand. And now let's have a look at this last one that's in the corner up here. One more base, slightly bigger, but definitely smaller than this one. I think the walker that we saw earlier goes here, the captain guy with the sword goes there, and the soldiers go on the small ma small bases. Ooh, lots of, lots of lovely little things. Now, these are called sprue. This whole frame keeping these little pieces in between each segment. The frame itself is called a sprue and on the on the frame are fixed these little miniature pieces of each soldier. Loads of different helmets as you can see, different shapes, different details and even in this row you can see slightly differently. The middle one has a skeleton on the helmet, this one has a cone shape and this guy just has a regular helmet on. Very nice, very detailed. The next row just has some back plate and the jetpacks which they get attached to. See that detail? More symbols. Even the grill for the jetpack has detail. Lovely stuff. Look at all that. And finally at the end here, we've got some swords. A chainsaw sword, very interesting. You can see the hand attached to it. Let's flip it over. Get some of this detail. Wow, very detailed. The hilt on the top sword here has an eagle motif on it. And the hand you can see, and the rest of the sword blade. Wow. I was wondering, this chainsaw sword, is that a, a handlebar or is that a guard? Because it would be very interesting if you have to pull the trigger as well when you're taking a swing with the sword. Rev it up like a motorbike or something. Interesting. And of course we have more jetpacks in this row. I think it's the other side. All of the jetpacks. And above here, hold it steady. There we go. We've got the chest pieces for all the soldiers with different sort of emblems on the front. Generally speaking, the Imperium have 
the golden eagle along the front, but these are slight variants on each armor piece. And at the end here we've got some without that eagle motif. Here we've got some leaves and a reef motif. And then the eagle again, the double-headed eagle. Probably going to be painted gold eventually. Finally, we seem to have some grenades up here. Ooh. And I think on this side, if you flip it over, we've got some of those seals and stamps, which you can paint red for the seal and gold for the uh, writing. Now let's have a look at this one. I believe this is most of the pieces from a captain. As you can see here, he's standing on a bit of a rock with this foot, and then with his other foot, he's got some more rock. The back of his cloak, another segment of his cloak, and the sword. Let's flip this around. And you can see in detail written along there is Exterminatus. I'm looking to paint that text blue so it glows. Gonna be very interesting seeing how this turns out. Very nice. And one other thing I really thought, one other thing I thought that was really, really good was the detail in the headpiece. Not a crown, I believe. I think it's more of a you can see all the way through. More eagle motifs, very good. And one more thing I want to show is, of course, more symbol symbols and icons on the guns. Very nice. Okay. Now, this particular sprue comes with two options for the head. One of these. Let's get the focus. And then over here, another variant with a, a bald head, but he's got one sort of cyborg, cybernetic eye. So you can choose between the type of head that you want for your captain. Wonderful. What else do we have in the box here? Hmm. Very carefully. Ooh. Want to break anything? What have we got at the top here? Various types of hands. I believe the top hand is holding a grenade. Let's see it from the other side. So the top hand in the corner here holding a grenade. This one holding a magazine clip so your soldier can look as if he's reloading. And this guy is pointing. More swords. Some sort of scanner, I believe. And of course, arm pieces. And I believe that's the loincloth or the tabard at the bottom here. And we've got options for various automatic machine guns. I believe we've got a shotgun in the middle here. I'm not sure. This one I have in front of my finger. More guns, more scopes. And more arms. Oh, that's an interesting one. Look at this arm. That looks like a mechanical, thicker arm than the regular one. So that might be something different as well. Various, various types of guns and flamethrowers mixed in. Very nice. Some more combat knives and a, what looks like a small handgun for the captain. And it's even got a bullet hanging off the bottom. Can you see that? Wonderful. Wonderful detail. What else have we got here? Shoulder pads, which we can have the symbolism on later. Paint them in the, the colours of whichever faction you choose. Within the uh, Space Marines. A sun motif. The legs of all the soldiers with different sort of stances, which you can rotate and place as, wish, as you wish. And in the corner here, I, I'm i not sure that these squares are anything. I think they may be books. I could be wrong.
but there's not a lot of detail on them. Let's see what it looks like from the other side. I think these may be books which you can uh, affix to their armour. Nope, I was wrong. They're not books. They're ammo packs. <laughs> of course, from this side they do look like books. So maybe when you wanted to do some mixing up you could maybe you could do something with that. But on this side of course you can quite clearly see that they are ammo packs. And more ornaments and motifs you can attach to your banner, your standard. Some extra ammo and clip. Let's flip this over. Let's see the detail on that on the other side. Ooh. And this looks like a, where were we, here we are, this looks like the inside of the rocket launcher. And as we flip it over, the outside of the rocket launcher. A heavy weapons backpack. Those are all, let me see, these are all shells. And they're, I imagine, picked out by this mechanical arm. And then the soldier f reloads by taking all these shells out of the backpack. We've got a handgun here. Let's flip it over. Hmm. Look at the detail on that. Some grenades or a rocket. Oh, yeah, just a loose rocket maybe or a bomb of sorts. What looks like the uh, the muzzle for the rocket launcher arm to hold up the rocket launcher and finally uh looks that 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 looks like parchment now let's flip it over the other side yeah that looks like parchment very very detailed you can see a bullet hanging just a bullet shell hanging off the shoulder pads there lovely detail no, I thought the the grooves on the bottom of the feet might have something, but uh, no, they seem not to. But what, what is the last one of them all? Ooh, the Venerable Dreadnought. Okay, let's have a look here. Wow, look at the detail. Some more banners to hang from your tank. I believe these are either klaxons or air horns that are attached to the tank. I'm uncertain. Uh, from the picture, they seem to be attached to the top, so maybe they're rocket launchers or grenade, grenade smoke uh, launchers. Then we've got some um, frontal guards, grill, the basing of the legs, the back and the front, I assume. And here we've got two sides of a gun, shoulder pads and armor piece with some Latin uh, sort of writing. Names, maybe, of planets. We've got more shoulder pads, more paintable uh, motifs. And uh, let's see what's down here. More banners. The back sides of some helmets. I believe that's a hand. This looks like it's got more writing on it at the front. Let's rotate this around a touch. Get the zoom. Come on, there we go. Very nice detail. So I assume these are mechs which have some soldiers interred in them, preserving their life, and then they live out their life as a, a walker dreadnought. And they're permanently attached to their, to their robot. Let's flip this side over. See if we can find any detail. Seems like the backside of most of this chassis. Not uh, interesting. But here we go, some helmets. Here's the first one. Got a skull motif on it. 
we rotate that around and with a more of a grill and a, uh, a visor which is thicker around the chin as you can see now what else have we got here we've got some uh, some banners and what looks like uh, church arch windows we've got another banner various compartments possibly the sides of the uh, the tank it's probably the middle this one is probably the middle middle area the hips of the tank to help rotate as we go on the second half of this spring what have we got Ooh. Ooh. I think this is the wrong way around uh, sort of electric battery pack maybe you can choose the type of weaponry you want and if you put magnets on these uh, these pieces you may well be able to uh, swap them out so one time a flamethrower another time a grenade launcher a rail gun a double barrel etc And here we have some more small motifs and emblems. I do like the word motif. I have seem to have said it a few times. How about commenting in the comment section if you know how many times I said motif. And some more seals there. Very good. So that's everything for the sprues. And here we have the guide to how to build your Warhammer Vulnerable, Venerable Dreadnought. Looks like a lovely, lovely walker to me. Looking forward to making these. As you can see, a step-by-step -step guide on how to put the pieces together. Now, we're going to go through this another time. Don't worry, I'll do it with you. You won't miss anything. And next, we've got the, uh, the inf instruction book on how to make all your soldiers in all of their varieties. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And the back of it's got uh, the types of colour schemes and the colours that are used with the various factions that you might choose Iron Hands, White Scars very very good I'm just going to here we go and then you can see what the Ultramarines take and you can actually choose what rank you want each soldier, soldier to be, each Space Marine to be and which uh, squad number they have as you can see Roman numerals, of course. Each rank obviously has a specific thing, so you really need to be careful what you decide. And of course, all the paints used to make all your soldiers, if they're in the uh, Ultramarines faction, the Imperial Fist color scheme, and of course, the Salamanders. Apparently, the goody two shoes of the uh, Space Marines. They're very, very nice guys, these salamanders are. Very, very kind. No, generally, I'm not being sarcastic. They are genuinely the, uh, the nicest. If there was anyone nice in the Warhammer universe, it would be these uh, salamanders. It seems to have oh, one card, one card guide to making the, the captain, the Space Marine captain in Terminator armor. With his sword. Yes. And finally, last in the box, we have some transfer sheets for your ultramarines vehicles, all the uh, various symbols you could have, and of course. Ultra means infantry transfer sheet. Wow. 
Look at that. Ah, that was everything I had to show you today. And as soon as proxies, equipment and cutting knives and Citadel paints arrive, we're going to do another video. I'm going to carry on the journey of the Ultramarine Space Marines.